Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is March 31st. Last day of March, uh, things will probably be pretty crazy here today. So uh, buckle in, I guess. Starting off, though, very quiet. So the calm before the storm. And uh, a lot of information going to be released from USDA at 11 o'clock Central Time. And so focus will be on quarterly stock numbers as well as looking at uh, acreage numbers. And uh, these are, well, we're probably gonna see things relatively quiet up until this point. So typically we're gonna see markets move pretty quickly after 11 o'clock. Here's what the numbers are and here's what guys will be looking at. As far as acreage, corn, they're looking for right around 90 million acres for corn. That's about a 2 million acre increase from where we were last year. Uh, looking at beans. Uh, 83.05 million, uh, it's about a 400,000 acre increase. So uh, looking for a slight increase as far as bean acres. And then for wheat, a reduction of almost 3 million acres for wheat. So keep an eye on that here as we get closer to the report. But the bigger story, for corn at least, is going to be this quarterly stock number. What is USDA going to do with ethanol? What's USDA going to do with uh, with feed and residual, that'll be, that'll be something we really have to, to, to watch because that's something they carry in their back pocket that they can move that number around. There's no good way in order to judge or to, uh, to follow where are we at as far as feed and residual. So that's a number that USDA uh, can go ahead and adjust at any time. Um, and then obviously, where are we at as far as carry out uh, export demand? Export sales were out this morning neutral across the board, except for beans, kind of a negative number here for beans. Uh, quarterly stock numbers. We're looking for corn to be uh, right around 7.8. Uh, so 7.8 billion. Uh, looking at beans right about 1.556. And then for wheat at 1.3 billion as well. So uh, this is just where we're at up to date as far as how much is still out there. We're going to be we're going to be reminded that this is yet another big number, and we've got a lot of corn out there, we've got a lot of beans out there, and wheat for that matter. So we're going to be reminded that this is still there. Uh, and as we move forward, though, after this report, probably about ten minutes after this report, because we'll trade this for about ten minutes, we're going to start shifting the focus to well, what's the weather look like? What kind of planning pace are we going to see? What kind of summer outlooks are we going to have as far as weather? Can we get some kind of support? So um, we'll see what happens here once these numbers are released. But we typically do get uh, pretty violent markets once these numbers come out. So give us a call. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Uh, as far as cattle, probably going to start off lower once again this morning. Box beef dropping sharply. Cor uh, choice down 319. Select down 416 but a sharp drop as far as box beef. Expecting to see cash markets trade at least $2 lower this week, uh, but we'll see where we finish up the week. Hogs, a little different story. We had a pullback yesterday. Cutout values actually increasing $1.27. Looking pretty good. Uh, probably will see some support here at a little lower levels for hogs, uh, but look for, that to, uh, look for that April contract to really stay around the $70 area. Seems like it's very happy right around 70 bucks. We get too far to the upside, guys are going to sell it, just as if you break a little bit further, probably find some support. Stock market, stock futures right now relatively quiet, uh, only four points lower. Crude oil dropping back today. After more of a reversal day yesterday, crude's down about 30 cents this morning, continuing to find some weakness. You got the dollar down about 36 as well. Focus on this report today, 11 o'clock Central Time. Give us a call. We'll be glad to help you guys out with it uh, if you have any questions as well. You can reach us, 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. You guys have a great day out there, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.